Ladies, how's it going? It is Tuesday, the 9th of July, 2019, and you're watching Carter.tv. Right. So, mm, so quiet, isn't it? It's very quiet. I did a video about this on DKB.tv yesterday for those legends out there that support me. Yes! They're not all tight asses like you, all nosy bastards, whichever fucking category you fall into. And uh, we spoke about this yesterday, so I'm not going to talk about it on here. And... Um, but because it's so quiet, and because I haven't really got anything to fucking talk about, um, other than that really, like, highly sensitive, secretive information that no one must know about unless you're on DKB.TV, hooray, then, uh, then we're fucked, because it's just, there's just nothing else to talk about anyway. Just fucking, I don't know what I'm offering about. Uh, right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I am going to look at uh, what the Liverpool Echo have been talking about today. That'll be exciting, won't it? James Pearce, uh, leaving, flying away, flying the nest. Woo, see you later, James. James is going um, to Pastors New. I'm sure you'll all miss him. Uh, what about this, then? Napoli are closing in on the signing of James Rodriguez from Real Madrid. Rodriguez has been linked with Liverpool in the past. He spent the last two seasons on loan at Bayern Munich. Being linked with us in the past is a, a, is a bit of an understatement because if I remember rightly, he was linked to us non-fucking-stop forever. Uh, I am uh, multitasking, guys. You know, like women can multitask. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm uploading a video to Cotsort.tv, which you'll already have watched by the time you're watching this one, I reckon. But that can be uploaded in the background. Right, so we're not interested in that. The Daniel Sturridge appeal about his dog. Didn't like that at all. It's pretty sad. Don't need to talk about that because I've done a video all about it. Uh, Alexis Sanchez could have joined Liverpool in 2014. It is claimed. Dick Law, Arsenal's former transfer negotiator, says the Reds were interested during the Luis Suarez transfer saga. Uh, he eventually completed a move to the Gunners before joining Manchester United in 2018. Uh, he said if we were just going to be a stalking horse for Juventus or Liverpool, who knew that they were losing Suarez, then we didn't want to play that game. But the closer on the deal was, but the closer on the deal was Arsene Wenger. He won that one for us. But the club that doesn't sound very right, does it? But the closer on the deal was Arsene. He won that one. I can't read that properly. Whatever that's supposed to fucking mean. Uh, Arsene met with Fernando in Rio at the World Cup two or three times over the next ten days, talking about his philosophy, about where Sanchez could play, that sort of thing. Off the back of those conversations, Sanchez really took a liking to the notion of coming to London. Liverpool were throwing a ton of money at him, but my understanding was that there was no real personal contact. My conclusion was that Sanchez felt like a make-way in the Liverpool-Barcelona transfer negotiations to Suarez. It was more of a money deal than anything else, and I think when you deal with South Americans, you have to throw a human element in there too. I think that sounds like a load of bollocks to me. I'm not dismissing our interest in him, because we obviously knew that at the time anyway. Um, but I just think that saying Liverpool were throwing a ton of money at him, that doesn't sound like Liverpool to me. Uh, maybe his agent was saying they were throwing a ton of money at him um, to try and get better terms. I'm sure you're not really interested in that five years ago. Divock Origi, Ryan Kent and Harry Wilson will all be given opportunities to shine on Liverpool's pre-season tour of America, uh, claims Chris Bascom uh, in The Telegraph. Uh, he writes that Firmino and Mane will not join the USA Tour, but there is a possibility Salah will at least be part of the squad at some stage. Liverpool's youngsters will therefore be given their chance to impress ahead of the new campaign. Suggestions today that Divock Origi uh, will uh, be extending his Liverpool stay um, following a new contract extension that's been offered to him. He's a year remaining on his current deal. Liverpool want to keep him. How do you think about that, guys? How about that, then, um, yeah, I say keep him. Yeah, forever. Let's keep him forever. Uh, we got rid of that other useless git, didn't we? Uh, right. Um, Manchester City is showing interest in Junior. Junior. The poor. Look, it's only F I R P O. But you know me, unless it's like Jack Daniels or John Smith, Sam, I'm not sure how to pronounce things. We're going to call him Junior. Uh, Man City is showing interest in Junior. Uh, Barcelona and Real Madrid. Barcelona. Bath, Barcelona and Real Madrid. But Barca and Real Madrid are also said to be tracking the 22-year-old who can operate both on the left side of defence and midfield. He made 29 appearances in all competitions last season, scoring three goals and making five assists. Liverpool have been linked, which understood they are not currently interested. Yawn, yawn, fucking yawn. 
bit there about that Dibel Carigi, will sign a new Liverpool contract have got into reports yada 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 AC Milan remain interested uh, remaining talks for Liverpool defender Dejan Lovren according to reports originating from Italy uh, it says the two clubs have had continuous communication and Lovren is Milan's first choice to bolster their defence uh, they're trying to drive down Liverpool's £25 million valuation as well as the Croatian's personal terms. However, the Liverpool manager is under Liverpool manager is understood to be planning for life with Lovren at Hanfield next season. Uh, Shakiri will be out for a while after tearing his calf on international duty. It seems that the midfielder will miss the beginning of the Premier League season. Liverpool boss Jurgen Klopp said Shaq is still injured from the national team and it will take a while until he is in again. He has a tear in his calf, so he will not be involved for a while. Uh, who's this knob jockey? Barcelona youngster Rick 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 who Rick who Rick who Some kid at Barca has oddly criticised Liverpool's style of football. Uh, he said. I like, apart from Barca, how Man City, Girona and Ajax play. If I like how Liverpool play, no, because I prefer the Tiki Taka style. Yeah, well, we heard all about Tiki Taka under Brendan Rodgers and that didn't do as much fucking good either, did it, punk? So we're not interested in what you've got to say. What's going on here? Uh, oh, right. Oh, I tell you, I tell you what. You know this Champions League final pitch invader, Kinsey Wolanski? I could pronounce her name. Uh, she Well, she's revealed that her and her boyfriend were arrested in a botched bid to disrupt the Copa America final between Brazil and Peru. Now, she... I tell you what, I'm going to Google fucking image that right now. I'm going to pretend you're not here. All right? Just pretend that I'm doing something else. Well, not, not that I'm doing something else. Pretend that I'm just watching... No, just pretend I'm reading something. Holy shit. Fucking Google images is mint, isn't it? It really is. But she don't get a rack out. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like a streak is a streak. You can't be half a streak, love. You just can't. You know what I mean? Anyway, guys, uh, Kinsey, K I N S E Y, W O L A N S K K I, W O L A N S K I, Kinsey Wolanski. Google images. Thank me later. is good you should be on dkb.tv guys we fucking say everything on there right Alison Becker makes the who scored Copa America team of the tournament woohoo okay not interested in that Liverpool have run the rule over Zenit St. Petersburg striker Sada Asmaun according to Sov Sport uh, he's 24 years old joined them in February 14 goals in 17 appearances scouts from Liverpool are said to be in attendance as he bagged a brace in the Russian Super Cup on Saturday uh, that's highly exciting too. Steven Gerrard has quashed rumours linking him with the vacant managerial position at Newcastle United. Blah, blah, blah. He said, uh, it says here, rumours suggested Liverpool legend could be in line to replace Rafa Benitez. When asked, however, Gerrard replied, fake news, not that I'm aware of. Guys, serious question now, right? Do you think Steven Gerrard should take the Newcastle job? At that state, like you look at, uh, you know, Frank Lampard's now obviously gone to Chelsea. Do you not think that's a bit too soon? I think that's a bit too soon. Do you know what I'm saying? Steven Gerrard going to Newcastle, I think that's a bit too soon. Big club. Well, this is where people fall out over, like, the definition of a big club. Let's say a club, club, a club, for sure. Hey, <laughs> Rafa, that's what Rafa would say. He'd say, club. And then he'd say, hey, for sure. Anyway, he won't be saying it anymore because he's not there, is he? But it's a, it's, a, it's a club with a big stadium and big supporters base that are very loyal. 
that's a better way of saying it because they're not really a big, big, big club any. Okay, so do you think Steven Gerrard should go there? I don't think so, mate, to be honest. And I'll tell you why. Not just because it's too soon. I think that um, to go there and, and be under uh, Ashley and that would be could be suicidal. I really do. And I would have loved it if he'd have come out and gone, what, work under that tosser? Give a fucking laugh. We have got more respect for the Newcastle fans. Now, that would have done him a big favour, I think. Hang on, I've got some shite in my eye. Don't know, don't know. Just got to keep the best... Uh, the best. Got to keep... Look, guys, I know I've got a face for radio, but you know what I'm saying? It's going to make... I've got to try my best, try my best, try my best. <sighs> mm. Dembele is desperate to remain at Barcelona, apparently. And he's cut his holidays short to work on his fitness. A bit like me, guys. I cut my holidays short this year to work on my fitness. Can you tell? No? Okay, fair enough. Fuck it then. Uh, the Frenchman has asked the, the club has asked the club if he could use their state-of-the-art complex a week before the first team are due to report back. Is this news? This is news. This is news. Why are we even flagging this shit up? Seriously. This just shows you how fucking dead it is at the moment. Seriously, here we go. Look at all this wank shit here. Look, David Neres, whoever the fuck he is, looks like Ajax, has dampened rumours linking him with a move to Liverpool and a host of European clubs. The Brazilian star lifted the Copa America alongside Alison Becker and Roberto Firmino, Firmino this week. I'm having a beer because I have something to celebrate, he said after the victory. I have to be back at Ajax on July 28th. My future is with Ajax. Now it's time to celebrate. We had a nice party in the dressing room. We danced and after that it was time to see my family. It was a good experience for me to be here and play with experienced players. I feel older myself and more experienced. That's good for my development. What a load of absolute fucking shit. The level of... The, I am scraping the barrel up to bring some content to you guys. To, I mean, seriously, man. And you wonder why I'm not around throwing videos out, churning them out left, right and centre. I'll tell you why I'm not churning videos out left, right and centre. It's because that fucking useless gun at Liverpool, Michael Edwards, isn't doing anything at the moment. That's why. It is another... Philip Coutinho, right? His odds on joining PSG have been slashed after the French Giants confirmed Neymar has failed to return for pre-season. He's another cunt, that Neymar, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? Don't turn up for pre-season because you just don't think he can turn up. Do you know what I'm saying? Right? If you didn't turn up to your workplace just because you didn't fucking feel like it, what would happen to you? You walk into Tesco's, you know, I didn't come into the warehouse today, boss, because I couldn't be fucking bothered because I'm trying to force a move to fucking Asda. Do you know what I'm saying? How would that go down? Well, there's your fucking move to Asda because you're fucking sacked, is what he'd say to you. These footballers, man, they do my tits in. They really get on my fucking tits, honestly. They really do. And I'm sorry I'm swearing, but I can't help it. I'm getting pissed off because I don't know what to talk about. Anyway, reports have suggested that Coutinho could be involved in a high-profile player plus cast deal with Barcelona, said to be interested in bringing Neymar back to the Camp Nou. PSG have now confirmed their Brazilian striker did not arrive with his teammates as the club began their preparation. Why, why, why do we need to know what the fuck is going on with Neymar at PSG? All right, maybe put it in the bit as into like, all right, Coutinho's odds have been slashed because of, you know, the Neymar situation. That's fine. But why do we need to see a club statement about Neymar? No one's interested. No one is interested. Why are you reading it out then, Chubbs? Because I just went down the page. I didn't even know it was fucking coming up, did I? I didn't know what it was going to say. With Neymar AWOL, bookmakers can now see Coutinho heading to Paris this summer. This is a lot of shite, guys. It's a lot of shite. I think that, right, it's just an excuse to promote Betway. That's what, honestly, I really, really do. I know these things. I know these things. Because I get approached through this all the time. Companies contact me, betting companies, right, and they say, look, listen, jumps, right? Put an article on. Put the, we'll, we'll write an article for you about Liverpool Football Club. Right, but what you've got to do somewhere in the article is just put a little link into Betway. Can you do that for us? Right, and I go, look, I'm sorry, right, I'm not in the interest of, uh, of, of overdoing the advertising on my website. I don't want to annoy the visitors to coptalk.com. How much? That's what I say, guys. That's what I say. And then I go, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Write what you fucking want. Anyway, so. This is a bit weird. I don't know. All right, so maybe, maybe, maybe conspiracy theories everywhere. Philip Coutinho's club at the end of the summer transfer season window, whatever. PSG 10 to 11, Liverpool 5 to 1, Bayern Munich 20, Juventus 20, Manchester United 28. Hmm. Have you seen anywhere evaluation for Coutinho? Let's have a look. Philippe Coutinho. I could see him coming back to Liverpool, mate. Oh. 
Gordinho uh, transfer fee. Let's see if this, if Google picks that up. Uh, Google News. Let's have a look. Uh, Barcelona will not sell this summer. Okay, there is. No, I haven't. See, I've followed all the stuff. Uh, what's this one? A report suggesting that his transfer valuation has dropped by a staggering 20 million. You're having a laugh, are you? Uh, the reports claim Coutinho's current valuation is around 86 million. Bring it down a bit further, and I could see Liverpool going for him. As you say, he's just a little hunch. I have, like, do you know what I'm saying? Guys? A little hunch. I don't know whether you'd like him or not, um, but he looks a very unhappy boy since he's left Liverpool. And I, I would, if that suddenly our our interest genuinely became solid, or there was something credible about that, I wouldn't be like, I wouldn't be surprised, I wouldn't be shocked by that at all, honestly. Then again, at the minute, we're not doing anything, are we? So um, mm. Liverpool will, ha Liverpool have to do some business, surely. I mean, you know, we've had players go out, we need some cover for. Well, we could talk about it all day. Uh, and that's it. Uh, Liverpool want to sign Marco and Asensio this summer, according to reports originating in Spain. Uh, Real Madrid star uh, Asensio. Let's have a look. I have a feeling we touched on this very recently. Uh, let's have a look right now. I've gone to coptalk.com, guys, and I put his name in the top right. There we go. 7th of May. Um, we touched on him and Liverpool Football Club have had a £42 million transfer bid rejected for uh, Real Madrid winger Marco Asensio claim response in Spain in 2017 so we've touched on him in 2017 2018 and this year on the 7th of May so we're going a couple of months back uh, reports originated from Spain claim Liverpool have registered their interest in him uh, 23, it's claimed the 23 year old attacking midfielder is attracting interest from Klopp, yada yada yada. Ahead of the summer transfer window, I see a spelling mistake there. Nobody told me. Yeah, you see, nobody told me. And even though it's in May, guys, I've hit the edit button uh, to correct this, uh, this, this, uh, yeah, this, uh, this uh, unprofessionalism. There we go. H. That's all we have to do is have a H. Uh, so yeah, it's saying that attracting interest from Klopp ahead of the summer transfer window and a bid could be forthcoming if the player indicates he would be interested in a move to Anfield and if a sensible fee could be agreed upon. It said that the claims at the time, this is in May, uh, was that the Spanish media believed that we were favourites of landing despite strong interest from Inter Milan and Juventus. Struggled to hold, hold down a spot under uh, three managers and the suggestions that it's possibly time for him to look for a challenge elsewhere. Under contract until 2023. Uh, the current message is that he's not available. And that's it. Okay. So that was then. And um, this is now that Liverpool uh, Liverpool want to sign him this summer, according to reports in uh, in Spain. So that is a, a play that has been linked with us multiple times. Now, what I would say to you with that, guys, when a player is usually linked with us, right, 2017, 2018, 2019, that usually, usually, right, depends who's saying it, but usually you tend to find that, um, uh, I've just thrown myself off because I just noticed that red thing up my nose, uh, again, you know what I'm saying. Uh, the thing is, guys, um, usually when you see that trickle, it's usually that the, the, the club are monitoring a player, you know, and the scouts are uh, tracking them on an, on an ongoing basis. Um, the, but sometimes the reality is players that are continually linked with us. But this is an interesting one. My opinion would be to keep an eye on that one. But I can't see anything happening at the moment. It's absolutely dead uh, in terms of credible transfer speculation. I'm not going to give away what I said on DKB.TV yesterday. You know, my feelings there, like, you know, for my, my subscribers and my members, etc. Uh, but I just think that... I don't know, it's only 9th of July. But then again, fucking Premier League season kicks off. What, we kick off on 9th of August, is it? So, um, you know, before you know it, we're going to be there. So, Could the European champions really not do any business? I can't see that, mate. Really. I can't see that. I don't think Liverpool go mental, but I can see, I can see some stuff happening. Seriously, we have to because the squad, the squad, is a little bit, you know, lighter than it was 
um, the end of the you know what I mean. There'll be something has to be. If there were, if there isn't, I'd be fucking raging. Um, but anyway, Asensio uh, is a player that uh, has been linked with us multiple times in the past. Uh, and I remember when I wrote that article back in May that I was thinking about, um, you know, that Liverpool scouts have probably been tracking him all that time. I don't know. Um, what was... Oh, something came up today. Hmm. Something came up today about Liverpool. What was the, what the fuck was that? Was that someone... Did someone message me? Uh, just one second, guys. Hmm. I'm sure someone came up today about Liverpool and midfield. Can't for life of me think what it was, sorry. Uh, but if it's of anything in importance, I'll obviously um, discuss it with you. Mm, don't know what it was. Anyway, <clears throat> what else we got? Nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. Not to talk about. I love making videos for you and that. But if there's not to talk about, there's not to talk about. So you just got to try and. Um... I mean, some of this. Sh I mean, we live in a world now of clickbait, don't we? Do you know what I mean? And I try to avoid it big time. I had a laugh yesterday. I've got to be honest with you. Yesterday, I did put a news article on yesterday, uh, and put Fabio Barini return or something like that? Question mark. Uh, and put it on Facebook. But that was more of a, that was not to do with revenue or like generating clicks or anything like that. It was just like, I just wanted to fuck with you. Do you know what I mean? Because I'm like, I'm like that. Oh, the dogs woke up. Do you mind? Hey, making a video and I'm a fucking absolute professional. Do you want to be on? They can't see you unless you come here. Come here. Here. Oh. See you. Yeah. I'd still swap. I'd still swap you for Rodders. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, go on. Piss off. Yeah. Oh. I love you really. I love you really. All right. Yes. <coughs> That's it. What were we talking about? What were we talking about? Fucking clickbait. Yeah. So like, I, you know, I like to wind people up on that sometimes. But like, you go on, like, on the air, like the Liverpool transfer coup that upset Manchester United and Chelsea, but fans struggle to love. That's how you click on it. I can give a fuck what that's about. Anybody that puts shit out like that, I will not even, you know, the mistake that cost Liverpool the chance to beat Arsenal to Alexis Sanchez transfer coup. Then we've already discussed that. That's the metro for you. What a surprise. The echoes, the other one clickbaiting there. The Echo that used to be a brilliant publication. Do you know what I mean? Liverpool fly out to pursue deal for this Wolves transfer target. Ooh, let's have a look what this is then. Liverpool officials have been in Russia to scout Zenit with Z Peterberg, Zenit St. Peterberg striker Sardar Azmoun. Now, this is the kid that we, we mentioned earlier, right, which was an absolute fucking nothing bit of information, really. And the headline is Liverpool fly out to pursue a deal. No, the fucking didn't. Liverpool didn't. At the very best, they had scouts there. They're not pursuing a deal for anything. You lying fucks. Birmingham live. Same shite as the Echo, innit? Yeah. Mm. So boring, isn't it, guys? So boring. Anyway, I've given you plenty to uh, to talk about. I'll give you plenty to talk about. And we've had a little laugh, haven't we? We've had a giggle. There's not much doing, kids. There's not much doing. Um, Pre-season starts, obviously, uh, you know, in terms of friendlies and things like that in a couple of days. Uh, we have Tranmere Rovers on the 11th. Bradford, Dortmund, Sevilla, Sporting, Napoli, uh, Lyon. I'm not interested in a single one of those motherfucking games, guys. I'm not. You know how miserable I am. You know how miserable I am. And I, I don't like pre-season football. I don't like it. All right. I don't like you football. I don't like women's football. And I don't like pre-season football. 
The only fucking game I'm interested on that page right there is Manchester City in the FA Community Shield on Sunday the 4th of August. That is when I'll start being excited. Don't get me wrong, I'll cast my eyes over these things. And I know you like to see the kids and stuff like that and play new signings and stuff like that. There's only one that I might have a little bit of interest in, if I'm completely honest with you. And that is the, uh, the game against Lyon on Wednesday the 31st of July. All right? That's one that I will, I will have some interest in, that particular one. And not really for footballing reasons, I don't think. As in the match itself. All right? So... I think that's it. I think I've waffled on enough for you today. Um, I look forward to your comments. I read them all. I read all your comments when I'm sat on the loo doing nothing. And uh, I listen to them. Who's right here? Let me listen. Uh, let me read this one to you, right? Oh. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. There we go. YouTube comments. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this was it this is a week ago stupid old man leave city out of your crap that's all it says stupid old man leave city out of your crap call me an old man I mean fuck me how old is he 15 am I old guys guys would you consider me old be honest with me I mean I've got a bit of grey going on right but I think that's a bit sexy you know what I'm saying am I old am I old like, would teenagers look at me and go, he's an old man? Or would they not just go, he's just a fucking gadget in his 40s? Because, like, when I was a kid, I thought old was, like, 60-odd, something like that, maybe. A bit older, maybe. Stupid old man leaves city out of your crap. What you on about? What video was that on? Rafa Benitez leaves Newcastle. Hmm. Kirit says, I don't cheers, dude, for the like. I live in Wakefield. Your channel is unique. Hooray. He says, I've been watching it for about two years now, but started commenting recently. Our cog has been slowly running for the past year or so. It's up to urgent clit. And the lads to keep us running for more trophies. Urgent clit? Oh, no, what's that about? My, my, my video stopped and it paused, right? I think I've recording too long. I'm done. I'm out of here. Uh, anyway, so, uh, yes, uh, I, I do apologise if this video has bored you to death, but I wanted to churn something out for you. Uh, Tony Shield says you've lost at least four chins since that video. Done Well done. That was about the Torres uh, turn cut one. Anyway, uh, I'm still here. I'm still willing to make you videos, etc., etc., etc. If you're on the Cop Top members website, all right. You get free dkb.tv if you become a cop top member. Information in the video below. Uh, information in the comments below. No, information in the video description below. That's it. Video description. See, this is where I'm poor, guys. This is where I'm fucking peasant. Because I don't even know how to promote my own shit. But come and join me on the members' website because at least we're talking on there about something. Do you want to know what we're talking about on there today? Let me have a look. Shall I see if there's anything exciting on there? It's very quiet, if I'm honest. I'm very honest. Uh, New left back, Avi Elliott, Danny Ceballos, Ceballos. How do you pronounce it? Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, FFP, hypothetical avoiding scenario. Mm, Lovren, Danny Alves, Nabil Fakir. What? Oh. All right, I'm done. I'm off and on. Right, guys, uh, I shall. Uh, I shall speak to you later. The video might have uh, like jumped or being spliced up in various parts but I'm sure you got the uh, the, uh, the general feeling of things basically there's nothing happening and uh, but it's good to touch base with you and I'll speak to you uh, real soon hopefully okay guys thanks all right